So today I wanted to spend some time talking about Avigilon's Teach by Example. What is it, when to use it, and what does it do for me? So uh, to start off, I just want to show you uh, working with an Avigilon uh, 4K um, H5A dome camera. Um, you can see here we got, you know, bounding boxes around people, bounding boxes around a vehicle over here. But then we also have a bounding box uh, around this light post, which is classified as a human being. So how do we rectify this? So I'm going to open up a help file right here and uh, just review the teach by example um, information. So teach by example helps a Vigilon video analytic cameras learn the scene to improve classified object detection accuracy. Teach by example collects feedback by applying assigned teach markers in recorded video. While any user can assign the markers, administrators decide which markers are most useful considering the environment, lighting, and field of view for each camera. Teach by example is not required for analytic cameras, but will help reduce the number of false alarms after self-learning analytics is completed or disabled. Okay, so keyword, self-learning analytics is completed. Okay. So how do you see if the self-learning -analy self analytics is completed? So I'm going to go back to my camera. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to device setup and go to analytic settings. And I can see right here the status of self-learning. I can see that's 100% and it's enabled and the teaching markers applied are factory default. Okay. So back to help. So how to assign the teaching markers. So basically what they're explaining here is uh, the easiest way to apply these markers is to conduct a classified uh, motion search. So um, any other important thing here is you have to mark 30 true and 30 false markers before you can assign them to the camera. So how do we do that? So I'm going to go to a motion search. I already teed this up. Um, and what we're going to do here is basically do a search on this particular area for this light post so we can filter out all of the false positives. So first thing I'm going to do is shrink my green box. Shrink that down, I'm going to put that right there, okay? And we can see that that light post is, is there, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm, right away I'm going to mark that as a false person, okay? So now I come down here, you can see our search time, so basically I'm just going from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm going to reduce the confidence level, so this is going to give me more results that are, you know, potentially uh, false positives. So I'm going to hit start search. This system is over a VPN connection, so um, sometimes it's a little slower than, than normal, but let's see what we have here. So uh, go to this one. I'm going to hit play. Let's see if we get, uh, there we go. Got a bounding box. Marked it as a false person. Go here. Now I'm not going to do all 30 positives and negatives. Uh, that could take a while for the video but just kind of give you an idea I can mark this as a true vehicle I'm not gonna mark this as a true I'm not gonna mark it as a positive just the way the bus is entering uh, I'd like to see this bounding box around the bus and actually classify it as a bus um, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is there let's see it's search here oops it's search button again Gives us another set of results. Ah, here's another false. I press play again. See if we get another. I think it's there's somebody standing right there. It looks like they're holding a bag, maybe. There we go. False person. Try this again. I'm gonna hit play. Yeah, so it looks like we got another false one there. Go back a couple of frames. One up here. False. Okay, and that is a true vehicle. That is a true person. And that's a true person there. Play. Looks like we got a vehicle over here we'll mark as true. 
and another person. True. And if I wait a second or two, that new vehicle that comes through will get classified. It's a little challenging for it because you got all those objects there, but you can see it starts doing a pretty good job as, as we move through. There we go. Mark that as a true vehicle. And I'm going to come over here and just make sure that one's completely marked false. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the help file, editing and uh, removing teach markers. So you can see from the from the motion search page, I was able to go in and mark um, objects true or false, but now where do we edit that? So you do that by going into the task menu, site setup, or right clicking on a camera, uh, and going to set up to see teach by example. So let's do that. So I'm gonna right click on the camera, device setup, teach by example, and you can see here's the list of all the positives and negatives that I've uh, started previously and from that last um, session there. So right now I have 25 true and 19 false. So I need to get this up to 30 and 30, uh, and then you can actually come over here and apply the markers to the camera. Let's go back to the help file. So you can see here applying after 30 true, 30 false are assigned. They can be applied. Once applied, the teach markers will remain on the camera if the camera changes servers. So that's good. So basically you can take the camera and move it to a new server. All that information is uh, actually stored on the camera. And each camera can have a maximum of 200 true and 200 false. Okay. And how you uh, apply, you come to the Teach by Example page. I mark down here, you can hit apply. And if you go into the setup of the camera here, you can actually see if the teaching markers was applied. You can see this camera is still the factory uh, default when it comes to uh, teach by example. And that's what I just explained right here. The teach, uh, teach marker status, you can review that in the camera setup. So that was a quick overview of uh, Avigilon's teach by example. Um, thank you very much for your time. Look forward to doing this again soon.